talk about the future. You put out a vision of we work if we want to, and our work is our hobby. Yeah, that's a great <laughs> world. <laughs> so um, yeah, you know, there's a there's a guy that we uh, interviewed for the book. His name is Alan Walton, and uh, um, he is a, a talk about a, a lifelong learner, somebody who's learning things all the time. He actually. Um, uh, talks he he's a data scientist and he is actually right now working on uh, a, a think tank where they're thinking about the world a hundred years from now and w imagine what the world of work would be like a hundred years from now it's hard to do because if you think about it um, it's hard to imagine what work will look like even 10 or 15 years from now let alone a hundred years from now. And we talk about this uh, uh, as well in terms of, think about just a little over 10 years ago, the iPhone was introduced. And yet today, we can't imagine a world without mobile phones and mobile apps. We can't imagine a world where there aren't, uh, you know, jobs like driverless car engineers or drone operators. Those were jobs that didn't exist 10 years ago. So then we look, say we look uh, 10 to 15 years in the future, and we're talking about, you know, some of the things we just talked about, like, you know, uh, the gig economy for knowledge workers and skills as a currency. Those are things that are a little bit more in our grasp. But if you think about the, the future 100 years from now, uh, one of the things Alan was saying is, is that, you know, there's, there's one scenario where work isn't required anymore because machines have come to do all the routine tasks that humans are used to doing now. And so this is a more utopian view of the world rather than the, the doom and gloom of, oh, the robots are taking over and nobody's going to have a job anymore. Instead, he's saying, you know, look, there's, we, ha we maybe have a higher purpose as humans in this, in this world, let the machines do the work that humans used to do and let's look at us about what's our purpose and passion in life and, and what do we wanna do? And if you were given the choice of doing whatever you wanted to do, what work would you choose to do even if it weren't you know, work that you got paid for, just work that you were passionate about to help humankind move, you know, move forward. So this utopian view is, is one that I think a lot of people are, are thinking about and dreaming about. We'll see how the world progresses over time. But the, the one fact, the one thing that can ground us in all of this is that AI is a rea reality right now and automation is a reality right now. And I would, I would offer that we shouldn't be thinking about this as a doom and gloom, even in the short term, that there's a way for humans and machines to work together in order to have a really productive work environment. And we need to, you know, to take advantage of what makes us mo most uniquely human in this world. And we have empathy and we are able to problem solve and we have traits about us as humans that machines will never have. So let's, let's take the strengths of what machines can do and let's take the strengths of what humans can do and realize that it's gonna be a combination of these um, things that are gonna make us most successful in the workforce of the future.